Well, tonight, the University of Georgia is honoring a sports icon. Vince Dooley died last month at the age of 90. He served as coach and athletic director at UGA for decades. That's right, and fans and friends and former players will get a chance to say goodbye at a public service tonight for Dooley. 11 Alive's Joe Ripley joins us now. So you spoke with some of his former players, and they talked about his impact. Yeah, that's right. Uh, good evening to you all. They were devastated, of course, to hear about Dooley's passing. These players say he changed their lives. And while Dooley was a legend on the football field, the late coach's legacy extends off the field as well. You work on a garden and till the soil and do things, and you want to stay around and see that garden continue to grow. Vince Dooley's garden is nestled in Athens, Georgia, where the field at Sanford Stadium bears his name. There's no more Coach Dooley's and people like that. They're one of a kind, and we had the greatest time because we got to share some time with him. Nathaniel Hudson played on the University of Georgia 1980 National Championship team as an offensive lineman. He says Dooley's time as a Marine shaped his life. His discipline made us what we were by following rules and knowing we had things to do. Just, he always had the answer for us. If it wasn't nothing else, he could work us till we found the answer. We had to fight and scratch and claw for the entire 60 minutes and somebody had to make a play. And 12 consecutive games, somebody made a play. And that, that started at the top. Dooley racked up the accomplishments in 25 years as Georgia's head coach. More than 200 wins, six SEC titles, and a national championship. As athletic director, Dooley oversaw sports programs that won 20 national titles and dozens of SEC titles. He was also a member of the College Football Hall of Fame. And while these players thank Dooley for their playing days, for bringing them together, Coach's lasting impression goes beyond football. He was as concerned about us, how we turned out as a person, uh, more so than how we turned out as a football player. As for Dooley's garden, there will be plenty of gardeners to tend it. Left more than a thumbprint, a footprint. He left a heartbeat, a legacy. And a public celebration of life begins tonight at 7.30 at Stegman Coliseum in Athens. You don't need a ticket, but a clear bag policy will be in effect. And so, it, so many people are going to be there in attendance, too. Yeah, absolutely, including yeah. some of the players you saw there. They are prepared to make some statements tonight. Chris, I know as a Georgia alum, Vince Dooley was seemingly everywhere on campus, even at football games. He'd oh, be yeah. walking around mm -hmm. through the concession lines just to, again, see his garden and how it turned out. And what's so interesting about his life, you know, a lot of people know him as the football coach, yeah. but there was so much more to him than a football coach. He was a very powerful and influential person in the state of Georgia outside of the football, you know, so mm -hmm. uh, a great man. I love the opportunities I had to spend a little time with him and be at events mm -hmm. with him and stuff. Such, such a great, friendly guy. Yeah, you mentioned absolutely. his role off the football field. Mm -hmm. Coming up at six, we're going to talk a little bit more about that. Such a lasting impact and legacy he left, not here on the football field at UGA, of course, but across the state of Georgia and across the country. We'll talk more about that later on. And we really look forward to hearing from you and, yeah. and hearing about his story. Thanks a lot.